Hey guys, what's up? So, I was over at Micro Center getting some stuff, so actually getting some more filming, and uh, went over to their uh, Raspberry Pi section and saw this. But uh, they just actually got some more in stock, so um, I actually uh, I wanted to put this on my uh, Octopi. Octop I have a couple different uh, Raspberry Pis. One, two, and, and three. Three is on my printer. But 7-inch uh, touchscreen to play here. So let's see. Let me open this up yet. So don't even know if I'm gonna actually do this or not, but because the screen's actually a little, probably a little bit bigger than I want. Okay, comes a couple jumpers, ribbon cable. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at this thing. All right. Okay, so a USB port looks like. I've actually never even seen one of this before, so first time I've ever seen one in person. Kind yeah, of cool, it looks like a little tablet. Alright, so, uh, yeah, this is going to be the beginning of the uh, Aquaprint 7 inch uh, screen, touchscreen project here. But I actually already have a, uh, a TFT32, but I'm not sure if I'm 100% happy with this. Um, just because it won't do baby stepping, and I can maybe get it to work, and I don't have BL touch function to test it. And, uh, but yeah, this is actually sort of like a mini computer, but this interface is with a, a real computer. So, I mean, I don't know if I should send this one back, or just keep it for my, uh, let me show you, take the screen off real quick. So, because eventually this will be upgraded to a 32-bit computer too, this old uh, printer bot. So I'm thinking I might put this over here maybe, on the side maybe, or the front. Maybe the front. Yeah, I might do the front. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I'm the front here on the color touch screen. Because I already have a... I have an SKR 1.3 board and an SK 1.1. Uh, well, the SKR 1.3 hasn't come here yet, but my SKR 1.1, uh, which is... Uh, I'm going to use that for the uh, printer bot because I'm not using BL Touch on this one. I'm using an inductive sensor. So it doesn't really matter. Plus, I have an aqua coupler. But this is the one I'm actually going to be running the SKR 103. Sorry, this is not a video about motherboards. It's a video about screens and Octoprint. So, so I'm thinking up here somewhere maybe that'd be kind of cool. If I could find, I'm going to I'm going to replace this screen right here. But if I could find a way to uh, mount this on my 2020 screen, how cool would that be right there? So they'd be hanging off down somewhere down here. Uh, 2020 mount obviously and it would be connected to my Raspberry Pi 3 back there which is mounted to the frame which you can't really see but all right so yeah now I gotta print out a, uh, a mount for this thing and uh, put that back in the wrapper but yeah, I gotta print out a mount for it a 2020 mount or at least either that or make one it's not design one and uh, I'll go through the steps on getting this thing to work with the uh, Octoprint. So, cool. Hopefully it works. So, like I said, it's it was 60 bucks. So, I mean, not cheap, but I don't know. Pretty cool. Cool project. You know, I guess I'm kind of addicted to this stuff. But <laughs> well, it is very addicting, man. It's, it's crazy. So, all right, guys. Cool.